Hey everybody, it's Racker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. In today's episode, we're going to be starting the big item run with Norian. You may remember that we weren't able to get to Generator B because of the whole crisis thingy that was going on at the time. Well, now that there's no crisis on Norian, we can get to Generator B and get a bunch of items there. That spider ball track can be a little bit hard to find. But at the end of it, there's a missile expansion. There's actually only five items we need to get in Dorian. That's one of them. I think I am actually going to save the ones near the... near the beginning of the station for... Like back here, there's a couple there's a couple in this area that I think I'm just gonna save for the end. Like that one. Because that's the way I'm gonna be leaving the planet. Like oh wait, no, there's another station over there. Yeah, I'm just I think it would be easier just to go take my ship there. I'm not gonna save until all this is over. No reason to. Not gonna be leaving Dorian, I just wanna fly my ship over to another docking point. And this particular expansion you could have gotten a while ago. Matter of fact, I think you could have gotten this expansion that I'm about to get as soon as you have Grapple Swing. Not quite sure why they're showing Samus flying in her ship instead of Norian, instead of showing some more of Norian off, but whatever. I think there's only one more loading screen we haven't seen yet. Whatever. Like, like anybody cares about how pretty the loading screens look in this game. Right behind here, there is uh, a grapple point that you can latch onto and get a missile expansion. It puzzled me how to get to this until I actually looked around. 75% of pickups required. Special ending unlocked. Yeah, uh, in this game, you only need 75% of pickups to get Zero Suit Samus. But there's something else that you'll be able to see if you get 100% of pickups, and I'm going to be getting 100%. Time is irrelevant for determining your ending. Why am I even picking that up? It doesn't matter. Welcome back, Samus. We're in the middle of major repairs due to the pirate attack, so excuse the mess. Yeah, Dorian is still a bit messy, even though uh, there's tons of time has passed since the attack. I have to imagine at least a couple of weeks have passed. And yes, the Nova Beam does increase your firepower even more, before you ask. I don't think it's that much. I think it's like 50% over the other area. Now where... Now what conduit do I want to take? Okay. I just want to take the center one. That works. Because remember that ice missile door that we couldn't get past? Well, we can get at it now. And through here is a missile expansion. There is another ice door that we skipped. I, I think we skipped it anyway. Either a missile door or an ice door that we skipped. There's not an expansion behind it. I believe all there is is just a whole bunch of lore. Which is more blue credits if you want them. But now that we have the uh, plasma beam, we can uh, repair this. Oh, 
Wow, this is really sloppy. I believe that's the only time you'll ever get to see uh, welding with the Nova Beam. Because all the other panels that you need to weld, you can't have uh, Nova Beam for. Uh, I think there's a upgrade over here. But this one is rather tricky to get at. Because of the way the panels go in and out of the... Damn it. Yeah, this one's really tricky. Probably the trickiest expansion to get on Norian. Just because you have to race those last few panels, but there we go, we got it. It's more memorization than anything, and my memory of this game isn't the greatest, so that's probably why it took me a couple tries. that room. Maybe it's on the lower level. No, it isn't. Oh, phase on grubs. Over here, there's a ton of enemies uh, that, are, that have a lot of phase on based attacks, so even though they're not technically in hyper mode, you may have to use hyper mode to take them out. Yeah, I think that room's on the lower level. Uh, liquid phase on. I do not like liquid phase on. They have a whole bunch of projectile attacks and they're just annoying in general. Yeah, there's this ice missile door that leads to a chamber with a whole bunch of lore. One, two, three, four, I believe. There's like four pieces of lore back here. But I've already gotten all these in a previous playthrough. But if you're looking for uh, blue credits, you can get three of them in one fell swoop right there. Now there should be... Oh, that. I don't think you've seen the, these obstacles yet, but they're... But they spawn a whole bunch of phase on based enemies, and the only way to destroy that obstacle is to kill all the enemies in the room. I would definitely go hyper mode for these guys. Because the, these guys are dangerous even when they're not in hyper mode. Don't run out. Ah! Like it matters. I have. One, one I have a lot of energy, and two. Uh. I don't have a major, a real major fight on Dorian to get these last things. And once I take these guys out, if I absolutely need the help, I can call my ship. I want to say there's like a dozen of these guys. I know there's more over here. They appear three to four at a time. Is that all of them? Nope. Maybe a dozen and a half, who knows. I'm not counting anyway. There we go. Now those guys you don't have to take out, thankfully. And now that uh, platform is active, so you'll be able to use it. Oh, and I corrupted. I didn't want to do that. I guess it gives me an excuse to kill all this liquid phase on. Or not, or I can just vent it all. The seeker missile, I believe, is how you open that. Yeah, it's been a while since we had a seeker missile door. Yeah, 
yeah, these generator rooms have loading times attached to them. This is a bit scary. This had to have been recent. And there's another Metroid Hasher here. This is the reason why I didn't come back and do this earlier until I have the Nova Beam. Because now I can just lock onto this guy and kill him in one hit. I was thinking about showing off how to kill that guy normally, but on Hyper Mode, he's actually a huge threat. And I'm sure there's videos all over YouTube about killing a Metroid Hatcher without using, uh, without using the Nova Beam. I don't believe we actually have to reactivate the generator. This is all for an energy cell. You may have seen it in the cutscene after we killed the Metroid Hatcher, but this is for an energy cell. There we go. You are now carrying seven energy cells. Unfortunately, it looks like we have to take the tunnels out of here, because... Because there's no way to... Well, if there was a way to screw attack over there, then we just would have gone that way in the first place and could have ignored the Metroid Hatcher entirely. Well, no, because we needed to destroy the Metroid Hatcher to open the door. Now there should be an expansion in this room somewhere. Or is there? Or did we already get it? We must have already got... Either we've already gotten it or my notes are bad. But it says we have 190 out of 190 missiles. So... I'm just going to double check my map, make sure I've gotten everything. Got that one. Yeah, that's everything. So I think I'm just going to call it here. That was a short video. Next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, we are going to start cleaning up Cliffside Brio. But the Brio cleanup in general is going to take more than one video. I guarantee that. See you guys later.